chat my device here hmm Let's go, let's get into the game. I have no idea why the in-game sounds are not popping up. Yeah, there we go. Hmm, right now, currently trying to solve a case of the missing train. I'm pretty sure I've, I've uh, solved the case before, so I know exactly what to expect. Nice. Good day to you, sir. Is that... Melancholy. I wonder what it is. Is it... Missing button. Ah, uh, done this before. Done this before. Yeah, missing watch. No watch. And... Something here, yeah. Ring. The passengers. Did any passenger? No. I saw no one as usual. I reported the train's passage by telegraph. I observe that you are a gambling man, Mr. Duff. You had hoped that your relocation to this small town might. I beg your pardon? Addiction to what? I found a horse racing ticket here. Are we f an expensive. It is none of your business. Okay, okay. Who's there the was Mexican? a what? Uh, goodbye, sir. Goodbye, sir. So, what do we have here? Uh, examine the side railroad branch that leads to the quarry at the station located between Chesterfield and Evesham. Examine mines and find out is it possible to hide train there. Examine Doncaster railway station for suspicious details and clues. Holmes, look. There's a flooded area over here. Hmm. I believe that the flooded area might be worth checking. I remember quite surely that we would not be able to examine the flooded area from here. So, yeah. Have I examined the Doncaster railway station? Yeah, no. Hmm. Nothing here. A uh, Watson, would you like some tea? No. No. Nope. Okay, so something here. I, I'm pretty sure I examined this one. I kind of examined the. Uh, Yeah, this one as well. Telegraph. I know for a fact that we are going to use telegraph. Going further into the case. There's a side railway branch. This railway branch should lead to the quarry. Yeah. The rail is rusted and looks old, but the railway is still usable. Quarry. It's the railway ends here. That is strange.
nothing here. A fake train. Ha! What a clever and devilish trick. Hmm, I need to examine that sign. Yeah, there's not a sign here. The switch is rusted, but it still works. Nice. Okay. What are all the clues that we have here? Old railway to the quarry. There's an old railway to at Doncaster that leads to the quarry. It is flooded and missing a section of the rail. Stolen rail track. Of course. Let me see. The customer reported. Nothing, nothing, nothing here, nothing here. So, somebody stole the rail to temporarily cover the missing section of the old railway to the London quarry. Might be. So, the train passed through the Chesterfield station despite uh, being unsure if the station master sent a report. The train never passed through the, the station master was drunk and his testimony seems unreliable. He could have sent the report without witnessing the train. The Chilean's stay on the train was just a coincidence. The train conductor overlooked them. Yeah, I I'm pretty sure the Chileans were left. I'm pretty sure this is a Mexican uh, thing. The Mexican two Mexican groups fighting each other. So, a lot of the will bring a lot of easy money to me thanks to the insurance and multiple fraudulent exclusive contracts. The disaster, even though he planned it, this fraud, he has lost far more. He could gain. Really, I, I don't think he planned this fraud. So, yeah. Now, let me check the map. Now, the train comes from here to here. And uh, so, Evesham Station is where the train was, uh, train disappeared. But we came to know that, uh, yeah, let me go to Britlington. Have I checked Britlington? Examine mines. Here are the mines homes. They appear to be abandoned. Okay. Take measurement. This is... The distance between the tracks is about... A lightly loaded vehicle came this way. Of course. There is a wooden beam lying on the rails. A small vehicle with wooden beams went down this way. Yeah. What a deduction. What an amazing character he is, Sherlock Holmes. This mine has completely collapsed, Holmes. It oh. is curious, but to be truthful, I am not entirely surprised. It's difficult to follow you, Holmes. Okay, empty place, traces on the ground, missing rails. Someone removed these screws. Most, a few feet of the rails have been dismantled. Nice. So, uh, stolen rail track, rails to mines are missing. Somebody stole the rails to temporarily cover the missing section of the old railway to the flood quarry. Somebody stole the rails to temporarily cover the missing section of the railway into the mines. But that basically means the train did not pass the way. So let me examine. Collapsed mine. Paper package. Wow. This must. Hmm. This is an unusual kind of. Pa Let us look. Sawdust. I am almost certain it is a. Watson, could you assist, please? Do you have your pistol? Good. Fire at this package. Wow, wow, what an explosion. Dynamite. Dynamite. Uh, okay, so mines were blasted. Somebody used uh, dynamite to collapse the mines. 
Yo, what's up, MBTS? How are you doing today? Thank you so much for the whole self. I really, really appreciate it, man. Thank you so much, Alpha. Thank you so much for the host, really appreciate it, Alpha. It's so good to have you here. Uh, so, the Don Custom Station Master reported by Telegraph, they arrived at departure for Line's train. The mines are collapsed and cannot be accessed. The mines were collapsed to hide the train. The dynamite was used after the train was moved inside. The mines were collapsed with dynamite. Somebody wanted to close them intentionally. Yeah, this might be the case. Also, let me look up the clues. Old railway to the quarry. There's an old railway at Doncaster City. Hey, have an amazing supper. Have an amazing dinner. Thank you so much for the host again. Uh, wishing you have a good time. <laughs> Dynamite is the name of the song. Nice. I am not really... Uh, I don't really know a lot of BTS songs. Nice, nice. Thank you so much for being here in BTS. Really appreciate it. So, there's an old railway at Doncaster that leads to the quarry. It is flooded in the missing section of the rail. The Doncaster station must have a telegraph. Arrival and departure. I'm I'm pretty sure this uh, Doncaster station master uh, reported the. Yeah, so here is the Doncaster. Here is Doncaster, and here is Chesterfield. So the Doncaster station master reported the missing, the arrival and departure of the train. But he was not truthful because he was bribed because uh, he his salary would not be enough to invest in horse racing. So I'm guessing, I'm just guessing that the train went disappearing into the water. The mines were blasted, yes, but they were blasted for some other reason. Uh, we need more clues to know why the mines have been blasted using dynamite. Hey, thank you so much for the uh, luck, Alpha. Really appreciate it. Not sure why that command is not working. Let me check it up. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so I've not got my chatbot running, so that is the reason why my minister has not responded with the command. It's booting up. Yeah, you did. You did miss the alpha stream today. I mean, the Valorant stream. Or did you miss both of Alpha's streams? Uh, I, I... Let me check right now. Is my minister responding? Yeah. Yeah. Let me look up something. Metal box. This box must be the safe. Let's open it. It must be the safe. I don't remember talking about a safe. So, simply what I need to do here is line up the straight lines at the end of these mechanisms. That would be the easiest way instead of, you know, trying to figure out the, uh, the puzzle. Yeah done that that is basically the easiest way the mexican company caracal and the chilean barcazas both want to buy the mines hmm. i need more information perhaps mycroft could help now i would need the telegraph right now i, I would uh, need the telegraph to send a message to my brother use the telegraph to discover more about the company 
examine Doncaster railway station for the suspicious details and clues. So I'm pretty sure Doncaster station master is bribed, and uh, the train went into the water. But ah, so the mines were blasted by the opposite group who did not buy the these mines. Of course, both the Mexican and the. It seems that both South American companies yeah. were involved in the purchase of the mine. The man at Doncaster who fled our approach, he smokes Mexican cigars. Perhaps. Perhaps. Yeah. Yes, Watson. We should certainly speak with him. Examine mines completed. So uh, I still have something else to examine at the Doncaster railway station. Nice. Please, sir, we would ask you not to leave. We have some questions. Are you the police? No, we are employed by the railway company. We are collecting witness statements about the train that disappeared last night. Lo siento, I'm in a hurry. Really? It seemed that you were waiting here for someone. Could you tell us if you were at the station last night? No, I just arrived from South America. A formidable journey, no doubt. De Chile. De Chile? For sure. Uh, yeah, something here. Wrinkles, for sure. He, he's a well built up man. He has strong build. Do not mess with this guy. I went for a walk, so I need to freshen up. Hey, thank you so much. Yeah, please Chile, do. Please take your time. But you are Mexican. No, you are wrong. Why would you think I'm Mexican? You smoke Mexican cigars. Because of your cigars. See, si, cigarrillos. So those cigars are the Ricardo brand from Mexico. Pero not your. I don't suppose that you. I was to meet my fellow compañeros. Where did you arrive yesterday? I will stay here and hope that the authorities find them. Or their bodies. Who authorized you? The company I... Could you tell me the... It's not... And what... Enough questions! When I... Going to start this. Not a very friendly man. And, and he is lying. He said that he just arrived, but we know that he has been here for several days. Yeah. Lying man. Really, really, Watson, I, I want to, I want to leave the station and be like, what, what the, why the, what the, excuse me, Watson, you all right there? Really, I need to, I need to send that to someone. <laughs> uh... I have no idea what just happened. And I missed my... Thirty seconds duration to clip. I think. So... Anything else here? To investigate, to... to explore? Nothing. I think there would be something uh, outside the actual station, like the warehouse, yeah. I did explore the warehouse before. So, not really the warehouse, maybe this house right here. Okay, okay. I 
I'm pretty sure I need to explore something. Yeah. Maybe there's a room. Waiting hall and then the warehouse. Oh, I'm pressing wrong keys. Ah. What do I have to explore here? Contact Minecraft, of course. Yes, I yeah. asked Mycroft to find out some information. Here is his. There are two companies, the Chilean Barcazes and the Mexican Caracal. Both wanted to purchase the WEA coal mines. The Mexican Caracal had established an initial deal and had prepared all the papers. However, the Barcazes Waited by the influential connection, managed to snatch the concluding deal for the money. So basically, the Chileans snatched the deal while the Mexicans already had the preparation done and everything done. That is really, really rude. Don't do that, guys. So, so basically, while the Chileans were working, Mexicans were like, "Yeah, you got the, you got the mine." Then we're gonna blast it so that you don't work there. <sighs> uh, coal has sold the mines to the Chilean Barcazes company despite the initial deal with the Mexican Caracal company. Both the Mexican were willing to purchase mines. The Mexicans held no grudge against the Chileans. Business is business after all. No, I don't think so. They held a grudge. Ah, uh, okay. Told. Wait. Suspicious Mexican. Uh, the Mexican Caracal Company held a grudge against the Chile Chilean Barcazes Company as the Chileans were favored for purchasing the Dilea Coal Mine despite the Mexicans' clearing sales on track. Nice. The Mexicans organized the Chileans' stay on the train. That is why the controller removed all of the passengers except for the Chileans. Nice. Let me explore old railway to the quarry. It is flooded in the next. Oh, okay. No, nothing here. Nothing here. Uh, the loss of the prototype will bring easy money in times to insurance company. Fraudulent contracts. Somebody stole the rails to temporarily cover the missing section of the railway into the mines. Road into the mines. No, no, into the flooded quarry, yeah. The mines were collapsed to hide the train. The dynamite was used. No. Uh, I need to explore a bit more. Just a bit more. But I have no idea what to explore. This is starting to become a little embarrassing on my side. Uh, I don't know what to explore. All these trains and railway stations, Chileans, Mexicans, Chileans, and, Mexicans and Robinson with his prototype at Holmes, I'm utterly lost. No, no need to be lost, Watson. It's just a pre-planned uh, thing. It appears that you may be at risk of some... You mean that the whole bloody lake is... A Quite so. But it is strange, because according to my map, there should. How should I know? And well, I was working in Nottingham. Nice. Well, I asked for a quieter place, so oh, they transferred, they transferred me. me here. Yes. Goodbye, sir. It is obvious that we cannot inspect the quarry. Right, instead, we can instead, check, the beach, we can check the beach area around the flooded lake. Nice. So this is exactly the moment where I. So, you see, the Doncaster railway station for the special details and fuels. So, the Doncaster railway station. I've not completely explored the Doncaster. Nice. The train could have been sunk in the flooded quarry at Doncaster station. It cannot be sunk in the flooded quarry because the old railway that leads there is missing some rates. No. The rails have, have been removed before uh, the train. Yeah. Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure by, by right now. The clues all lead to that. You know, single conclusion. 
Uh, anything here? Anything? Nothing here. Nothing here. The waiting hall. No. This ash. Hmm. Nothing here too. I really want to take up a new case. I. Uh, nothing to explore here. What am I missing? Am I missing something? Hmm. Strange. Quite strange. Ooh, what's that? What is that? So, I... I think... I think... Am I... Nice. So the rails. Uh, this this section has been examined. Nothing else to examine here. Uh, yeah. Oh, Watson, Watson, you and your bugs. What the hell is wrong with you, Watson? All these trains and railway stations. Watson. Chileans, Mexicans, and Robinson with his prototype. Holmes, I'm utterly lost. For some warmth, you just need to stay close to the fireplace. Not, not completely burn yourself. Ah, uh, I have never personally experienced these bugs i don't know what the hell is happening i don't know if the game has been corrupted for some reason i don't know if the updates messed it up i don't know if there has been updates recently but yeah personally i have played this game so many times i mean i've not completed this game not even a single time for but uh I have played this game quite a few times and no, nothing. I've never experienced, experienced any bugs. Especially not these kinds of bugs. Warehouse. Uh, I did not. I, I am guessing I did not explore the entire warehouse. So. So, okay, okay, something here. Nothing here, the warehouse has been explored too. What am I missing here? What am I possibly missing? Waiting hall. This suitcase contains my archives. We can consult with it if nice we can consult with it whenever needed if needed for sure we are gonna need it the times wow what an amazing newspaper that is hmm watson are you bugged out again are you here watson Yeah, you are here. <clears throat> uh, not sure what I'm possibly missing around here, but you'll find nothing interesting here, I'm afraid. Really? Because this was a pre-planned thing. Yeah, of course. And something is pre. Why am I saying pre-planned? Pre when something is pre-planned, you don't find anything interesting. But then, here comes Sherlock Holmes with the solving cases with the, you know, non-interesting things like cigars and yeah, that is exactly the reason this character 
is one of the best out there. Hmm. Pretty sure I'm missing something. Uh, do I need to explore something here? Uh, nothing. Nothing. Possibly nothing here. So, let me open up my tab. Inspect the beach area around the lake. Yeah. Let me go to the beach area and then come back for anything that needs to be explored. Here we are at the beach that is located near the quarry and Doncaster station. It doesn't look like a very good place to rest. Heavy vehicle tracks. These traces were... Uh... Take measurement. The distance between the tracks is about six feet seven inches. Wow, it's such a such a heavy. The vehicle, vehicle would have been heavy as these tracks. Uh, something else. Uh, something else. The vehicle. The vehicle pressed this stone into the ground. Wow, it would have been quite heavy. These traces are relatively fresh and were made by a large truck loaded with materials. The traces found at the disassembled shed near Evesham and at the lake were from the same vehicle. Nice. So, basically... Oh, is, is this the vehicle that we are talking about? Gypsy caravan. Gypsy caravan, yeah. Ah, uh, the, the... This place was abandoned fairly recently. Observing the coastline and the moored boats, we are able to see that the lake's water level dropped. The lake has flooded the quarry. The dam was probably breached. What an amazing conclusion. I love this guy. Hmm, Las Zarpas. I remember this quite the well. Label with the name Las Zarpas. Hey, what's up, man? How are you doing today, Nick? So good to have you here. Uh, did you end your stream, by the way? I thought I saw that you were playing Minecraft. Nothing here, nothing here out of the ordinary. Some clothes, some clothes. Wrecked. Oh, still on? Nice, man, nice. Anything here out of the ordinary? Oops. Nothing. I think nothing here. Nothing's here. Hmm. I hear something. That was just a train, another train. So I'm I'm trying to solve a missing train here. Hey, thank you so much for the raid, man. But uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, wouldn't that command would not work. Uh, you you uh, in case you want to raid, you uh, type in in your stream chat, of course. Type in forward slash. Is it backward slash? Hmm. Yeah, it's it's backward slash raid space at the rate the person you want to raid. So what's this? You need to explore this. Oh, a boot. Yeah. 
boots were one of the major things that lead to the solving of the first case of Sherlock Holmes crimes and punishments. So the this road basically leads to where does it lead to? I'm currently right here and the rail tracks were taken from Evesham station to this road to the beach it seems hey what's up Advait Shinoi how are you doing today mate so good to have you here as always <coughs> exclamation point Leo in the chat Thank you so much for the raid, man. Really, really appreciate it. She is pro. AKA Nicola Nicolo. Thank you so much for the raid, Nick. Really, really appreciate it, man. Uh, to all the new viewers, I really hope you guys enjoyed your time here. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of playing a slow paced game which is Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments pretty sure you you guys have heard about this game uh, so yeah it's kind of slow paced so just you know bear with me but I promise that I'm gonna play this game as fast as possible but it's not happening I'm, I'm missing something here no, I have I have examined the entire beach area. That's nice. I I need to examine something at the Doncaster station, and then my case would almost be done. I'm guessing. So just for the reference, just for the sake of context, I oh, okay. Have I examined these tracks? These are these are the tracks that I came in these are the tracks of the car that I came in hey yeah six boys <laughs> thank you so much for the uh, raid and house again really appreciate it man I'm missing something here I just need to examine a specific thing in the Doncaster railway station and after that my case will almost be done uh, am, I, am I missing something okay search archives search archives let me do that let me do that search archives <clears throat> uh last archives last archives nothing here nothing here nothing here Jack the Ripper. Wow, Jack the Ripper case. That is one of the best. Nothing here. Las Arpus, The Adventure of Sherlock Holmes. East Africa Company. Malaria, Death Duty is introduced. Encyclopedias. Las Arpus. Economic Science. Dust Capital. Yeah, Las Arpes. So the Las Arpes barges are uh, leaders in heavy goods transportation. The Las Arpes label belongs to the Mexican. Ooh, who covers shipping, electricity, services, and mining. Here it is. So basically, the company who wanted to buy the mine is exactly the company who <coughs> transferred the. So, so what can I? Mexicans car caracal have the barges have access to the Las Arpas barges it is a company that specializes in barge transportation and a special transport was used to carry something very heavy to the lake uh, that very heavy being the tracks probably to transport something very heavy the train has been sunk in the flooded quarry nothing don't cast a telegram 
Oh, okay. So I just need one more clue. I know for a fact that the train has been sunk. Uh, did you hear about the restaurant on the moon? Great food, no atmosphere. <laughs> Ah, uh, nice one, man. <laughs> nice one. Ah, <laughs> uh, really. You kind of don't run out of jokes, do you? Ah, great one. Did you hear about the restaurant or the moon? Great food, no atmosphere. Nice one. So I'm probably missing something here. Trying to find out You'll what find I... nothing interesting. Shut. Oh. You have been bribed, and I have. Maybe I don't have clear proofs that you have been bribed, but I have clear deductions. And Sherlock Holmes' deductions mean they are proofs. So yeah. Rail. Oh. Finally. Nice. Belongs to the station master. A letter. Station master back. Uh, in reply to your last warning letter, I wish to assure you that I shall soon honor all of the latest installments that I need to play according to my debts. He also had debts going on, mate. So it's pretty sure uh, he has been bribed. The station master appears to have found himself in some financial trouble. And even being in some financial trouble, he invests his money in horse racing station master received money recently he assured his royal and his ex-wife that he would be sending money them sending money and bought horse racing tickets despite the fact he can ill afford them yeah uh the train passed through the doncaster station the station master reported it the train never passed through the doncaster station the station master lied and sent a false report perhaps he was bribed with the money he desperately needed finally uh the mexicans drowned the chileans it was carefully planned murder the mexicans killed the chileans and sank the train in a flood quarry the mexicans inhumanity towards the chileans had cost many lives we must act quickly contact la strada and allow the police to inform the loud and swift justice even at the risk of an international conflict the crim a criminal organization such as this cannot be confronted directly. It requires a delicate approach. Give Mycroft the chance to resolve the conflict, even though it might be protracted and turned to his own advantage. Yeah, let's give Mycroft, Mycroft his advantage and let's deal with it in a really non-swift way. I believe in non-swift ways. Then the case is solved, Holmes. What do you intend to do? Well, I should require, I should require us assistance. For the arrest. Ah, but I know that look. You have. On the one hand, we have the local constabulary and advice from our friend Lestrade. The problem we have there is that the authorities seem to be incapable of acting quietly. Yeah. They rely on brute force. It could result in an international. Our other option is Brother Mycroft and his tedious polit. But it will be a long and drawn out process, and possibly with some compromise that will. But I think I'd prefer to give Mycroft a chance. We should overlook our personal differences. Let us go home then. No, I did not say. Well, all right. Watson, yeah. we know that the Barcazas Company directors were drowned in the flooded quarry, along with the train and Robinson's prototype. But we still need to corner the guilty party. But how do you intend to prove? Oh no. Huh. You may rest assured that I have a far better idea. We have. Of course, you already have. Yeah. Nice, nice plan. That is why they well, call you Sherlock the case Holmes. Is solved, and we should be heading home. And may we have two tickets to London, please? Right away. Wait, wait a minute. You've solved the case. In a manner of speaking, can you believe that the rescue service miraculously saved one of the Chileans? The police have ordered his immediate arrest. It, it pulled through then. Yes, by extreme good fortune. Condition His is condition quite is quite serious. The, medical the method of transportation has its risk. The gentleman carries some. Ah, your station will be famous, Mr. Good goodbye, gentlemen. Yeah, it looks really suspicious. Pretty sure my my deduction was on point here.
<laughs> there comes Sherlock Holmes with his thing. Gentlemen, you are under arrest. Caramba! You traitor! You double crossed me! Nice, nice. Now I need to shoot him. The police must handle it. Good shot, Watson. I always knew you were a talented marksman. I didn't want another life lost. Oh my god! I thought I was a dead man. You shouldn't be so glad about it. You'll okay. be up before the judge. judge. Your testimony will be of great importance to the investigation. I would remind you that your cooperation will be the best way to ease your sentence. By the way, Watson, would you be so kind as to give me some shooting lessons <laughs> later on? Yes, but not in our sitting room and not with you wearing <laughs> not a blindfold. With, not with Sherlock Holmes wearing a blindfold, of course. Uh, in case you guys did not get the reference that Watson was referring to, uh, he was uh, referring to the start of the game where Sherlock Holmes is wearing a blindfold and we play as uh, Watson trying to uh, calm him down. He was wearing a blindfold and was trying to shoot his new bases. Nice. Accept decision. Yeah. So, yeah, here's another one. On Sherlock Holmes' dad. Do you know who was Sherlock Holmes' best? Here, here's one on Sherlock Holmes' dad. Do you know who was Sherlock Holmes' best friend? What, son? Nice one, man. Nice one. What, son? Nice. Ah, did I? Did I just continue? Because. Ooh, the bloodbath one. This must be interesting. This must be interesting. This is one of those cases where uh, we don't find the murder weapon. And yeah. I mean, this game overall is really interesting and I'm really looking forward to play the new Sherlock Holmes game as well, which is uh, about to be released in, the, in 2021. I don't know. I feel... Deathly. And you look it. Let me old habits. What were those old habits? The pupil is dilated. Dilated. D D D something else here. The temperature The temperature appears to be normal. I need to concentrate and count the heartbeats. Nice. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight for ten seconds. That means fifty beats per minute. Yeah. But you're dying, Holmes. Your pulse rate is dropping. We need to get you to the hospital immediately. The antidote. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sherlock Holmes, the legend. You mean that you're poisoned? Legend. No. He was testing a poison on himself yeah. to see. Uh, Don't tell me legend is to yourself. Hemlock and the Tura. I was compelled to. Oh. <laughs> I knew that you would. Mr. Holmes and Mr. Holmes is unable to see anyone at the moment. He is unwell. <laughs> a good day, Inspector. <laughs> ah, Mr. Holmes, I'm glad to find you here. I need your help. A this really a good run again. About Sherlock Holmes. Bankers from the city, sons you of are really creative with your jokes, mate. So on and so forth. They were found stranded in a rowing boat that was drifting on the Thames. A romantic escapade with an unhappy ending, Lestrade. What? Well, yes, they were both in the bath, but uh, what? As a and they were. You are lacking in imagination, Inspector. Well, no, I'm not. Anyway. There was a banner flapping about in the boat with the RMS Oceanic printed on it and signed by the Merry Men. The Oceanic? Isn't that the largest steamer ever built? Yeah. Yes. And these two young banker chaps are sons of the owners of the White Star Line, the company that built it. There are rumours of corruption. I'm I'll keep it then. Here's another one that's a bit more complex and maybe too Yes, tragic. yes. It's a murder. But we're unable to find any weapon. We haven't touched anything. 
is at the Roman Baths in Strand Lane. A murder, a vanishing weapon, the Roman Baths. That's for us. Watson, fetch your hat. Yeah. I love this guy. I mean, the whole world loves him. But... Guys, I don't mean to uh, kind of raise any conflict here. Uh, who do you think is the best Sherlock Holmes? Benedict or Robert? Benedict Cumberbatch or Robert Downey Jr. In case you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to comment down below and make sure to also give your explanation Beautiful place. of why With a dreadful you murder. think. The body of Sir Rodney Bentcliffe is still in the steam room. Is the best Sherlock Holmes. I shall be waiting for you here, but please hurry. No murder weapon suspects. Are you able to identify? Yes. The manager of the bar, Sir Gregory Pitkin. Sir Gregory Pitkin a, lad. a lad from the city council, Garrow, and an archaeologist by the name of Blinkhorn. I think the plump one, Garrow, did it. He doesn't seem right in the head. Well, we shall see. The crime weapon. You found no murder weapon? No. And that's why I called All three witnesses and victims All three involved witnesses in and the victim were locked in murder, murder occurred. occurred. And they remained so until we got here. We even had to pick the lock to enter. I see. Was there anyone else here? Apart yes, a Mr. Phillips. He was the one who called the police. Nice. So I'm thinking, I, I don't remember the... I'm pretty sure I played this case before. I've solved this case before, but I don't remember, honestly, uh, the ending, the conclusion to this case. So I'm guessing maybe an ice weapon. And due to the heat of the bats, Good maybe the ice weapon has my name is been Holmes, melted. This is my colleague, Doctor Watson. Yeah, got Would melted. you be so kind as to answer our questions? Certainly, sir. Certainly, sir. Please tell everything that you can remember. That's Very well, sir. I came in at 6.30 this morning, and I, I made sure that the room was clean, and I prepared the towels. The brazier was... There was a fire, but... Yes, Sir Gregory ordered me to light the brazier yesterday. It takes some time until the room... The gentleman had a meeting at 9 o'clock this morning. They'd been in the steam room for 20 minutes, when I suddenly heard shouting. I So I ran out to the street to call for the police. One constable came, then Inspector Lestrade came along. Hmm. No one. Until these gentlemen arrived, Sir Gregory was... And then, while we were discussing work details, Sir Rodney and Mr. Blinkhorn arrived. And Mr. What happened? I waited until it all entered the steam. The changing room door was open, so I should hear if they need... You would have heard if someone had entered or left the steam room. Certainly, sir. These doors make a lot of noise. Nice. So, this guy with a lot of wrinkles. Yeah, light wrinkles, of course. Scissor cut, grooms himself, lives alone. <laughs> oh my god, such a savage game. Fastidious. Is that a word? I did not know that was a word. Manchester City. Uh, anything else? Anything else? Telegram sent today. Ask him about the telegram, Sherlock. These baths are becoming sinister. No, they're not. Door open. Oh, so this is the door that leads to the thing. So I think it's the brigadarium. Well, the steam rooms on the other side, Mr. Holmes. Of course, for sure. This is going to be interesting. Hey, thank you so much for the luck, Nick. Really, really appreciate it, man. Uh, did you hear about the restaurant at the moment? Uh, I, I, I did read. Clothes. These clothes belong to one of the suspects from the steam room. Nice. Clothes belonging to one of the suspects. More clothes. Nothing here, nothing on here. Okay. Something here. Champagne bottle. Champagne. For a special, for a special occasion. occasion. Yeah. 
Champagne. An ice bucket to keep the champagne chilled. Chilled. Something here, maybe, maybe. Unopened. It was intended. Nice. It was intended to be enjoyed after the steam bath. And nothing here, just a candle. Expensive clothes belonging to one of the men from the steam room. Nice. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Ah, death with a peculiarly Roman piquancy. Piquancy. The one you almost had an hour ago. Yeah. Let us forget about that. <laughs> ah. Oh. Thank you so much for the follow. A big girl really appreciate it. So good to have you here. I'm going to talk to you after the follow music. Please enjoy. Thank you so much for the follow, we really, really appreciate it, so good to have you here. Hope you enjoy your time here while you're here. Missing ring. He was wearing a ring. He very likely removed it before the steam session. Nice. Uh... Some dirt or earth. I'll take a sample. Yeah, of course. Taking care of even the finest detail. The death is very recent, between 30 minutes to one hour ago. Uh, yeah. The wound should not have bled so profusely. This pool is rather large. Ooh, okay. I had no idea. I think we have found all that we can here, taking into consideration the abysmal lighting. Constable, we have finished with the body. We don't have many leads here. What concerns me is that we still have to find the murder weapon. Mr. Holmes? Please have the body removed without disturbing anything else in the room. Yeah. All right, Mr. Holmes. I was All right, Mr. Holmes. Holmes. It's fairly reckless to carry out a murder inside a closed chamber. Why do you suppose they did it? There are Not a to great get many caught, of possibilities. Course. The murderer was in a hurry. Or he is an artist. Or a ghost. Or he wanted to ensure that I'd be brought in on the case. Yeah. Probably the latter. You are ridiculous. Do you know that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Oh my, oh my. I should check this blood sample at Baker Street. Of course. This key A was key. covered in blood. I should ask Phillips about it. Okay, nice. Nothing here. So this is the key to switch on the steam and switch it off. With the steam on, I'm unable to see even a few feet away. Yeah, so true. Nice. Steam is off. What should we do next, Holmes? I shall interrogate these glasses. One lens is cracked, probably due to the <coughs> temperature of the brazier. Of course. These lenses are for myopia. The wearer is short-sighted. The brazier is still burning. The heat here is extreme. Wow. I will need something metal. To pick up nice. This metal. I will need something. It is uh, so that might be the murder weapon. Maybe. Might be. Uh, yeah. So I would need something to pick up the melted metal. So. Blood trace. It's horrible. So Sir Rodney is. East. Date. Yeah, of course. Of, of course, I'm gonna speak to you guys. I'm in shock. I don't want to talk. It's horrible. Wow. I can't talk at the moment. His rhyme is amazing. He should rap. 
I'm in shock. I don't want to talk. Uh, I'm gonna take a walk. Around. Uh, is everything here done? I'm pretty sure everything here is done. Hmm. So, what do, what do we have here? Find the missing weapon that... Uh, the key found underneath Sir Rodney's body. I need to ask this guy about the key. Mr. Holmes, I should like to take the suspects to the yard. Any objections? No objections. None. None, let's try it. Mr. Phillips. About the key. How many people have keys to the steam room? We have just the one key for now, which... So, this morning you opened the steam room. I put the key inside my desk, but when they called, I couldn't find it. It had disappeared, but I, I, I don't know where it is. Did you leave the baths at any time, or receive any visitors? No, sir. I did not. <sighs> Blood, bloody... No. Let us try that again. That was the wrong option. Did you leave the baths at any time, or receive any visitors? No, sir. I did not. Uh, blood sample. One telegram. Yeah, of course. You are not telling the truth, Mr. Phillips. You, you left, left your, your work, work this morning, morning and you went to the post office, where you dispatched a telegram at around 7.30. Nice. But how could you... No, I... The telegram was... Mr. Holmes, it's important. I'll tell you everything. I was away for 20 minutes, and I closed the... Did you receive a reply from your sister? No, she wasn't meant to. I just told her to pawn my old school uniform so that she could... Did you check to see if the key was still in your de... No, I didn't. Please, Mr. Holmes, don't tell the police about this. Sir Gregory would give me the sack. I need this job. I see. I see. There is a bottle of champagne on ice in the changing room. There is? Are you quite certain? Do you believe it's important? Of course. May maybe. Uh, it's important because it's Sherlock Holmes. Interrogate the suspects. Find the missing weapon that was used to kill Sir Rodney Bancliffe. The suspects are at Scotland Yard and are ready for interrogation. The belongings of the victim and a witness. Okay, so I just need to find it tool with which I could pick up the molten metal inside the brazier. Uh, so there's no tool around here. Pretty sure. But, uh, Excitus. Nice. Frigidarium. Nice frigidarium, Sir Rodney Cliff's this office. This area serves as Sir Rodney Bentcliffe's workshop. Wow, nice table. Uh, archaeological tools, tongs. These tongs. Yeah, of course. Uh, tools used by archaeologists in their research. Nice. He was trying to ex examine something. Document. Uh, this metal plate, besides its archaeological interest, appears to be a part of something larger. At the present moment, I am unable to determine what exactly that might be. So, just a really shape has been cut in the plate. What should be done with it? Maybe, maybe painting. Maybe, uh, maybe spray painting. Is that a thing? I don't know. findings: old clay pots with numbers inscribed upon them. Dear friend, I wish to organize a press conference at the Strand Lane Bats next month. Egypt. But now it is time to set my focus upon English archaeology to shine the light on our national treasures and reveal them to the public. I would like to see many journalists as possible in attendance to record this event and record it favorably if uh, we treat them well enough. I should like to recall my old friendship with Lord Blackmore and use the special funds of the Royal Archaeological Institute for this event, Sir Rodney Bentliff. Okay. The Daily Mirror. 
there are few among us who could claim any degree of unfamiliarity with the name of Sir Lord. He is a gentleman who possessed the wealth, authority and vigor to well match the finest of his ilk bound in England. His intellect is equal to his charms and has oft been declared by young ladies of the European. The old powerful connections within the Lord's chamber and carries an influence inside the political world. There are also who would call him unforgiving authoritarian. We would uh, we should rather say that Sir Rodney is determined and ambitious. His presence at any archaeological site can only mean success for all concerned. The, the research efforts were about to be halted when a saviour arrived in the form of Sir Rodney Bentley. Sir Rodney had taken over immediate control of the excavation. Blah 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 of course. Now nothing here, some really old findings. Archaeological findings. Old clay pots with numbers inscribed upon them. Oh maybe this this must be this must be some clue going further into the Hey, I'm from India. Thank you so much for the follow again. Sorry for the weird. Glass plate negatives. A remarkable method for recording ancient civilizations. Photo negatives. A glass plate negative Never seen one missing. in a generation. Ah, a glass plate. It is a glass plate negative of an Egyptian statue. Wow. Never seen one. Maybe. Quite some time. Uh, nothing here to explore. Nothing here. Nothing, 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 nothing here. I wonder how this could have happened. <laughs> yes, it is somewhat treacherous. <clears throat> Fortunately, I am unscathed. To where does this corridor lead? To the frigidarium. The cold, the cold room. room. Barely unscathed and by a very small margin. And treacherous is an understatement. Ah, Watson. <laughs> ah. Those stones weigh tons. We won't move them. Yeah. It does not matter. If our investigation requires it, we shall ask for them to be removed. Of course, of course. Justice must happen to the dead. I'm always wondering what's on your mind, Holmes. Nothing here, so... I could just go to the Scotland Yard and... <coughs> Investigate more, interrogate the suspects, and uh, yeah, scan their belongings. Hmm. Pitkin's belongings. An embroidered silk handkerchief. Ooh. A fountain pen with solid gold trim. Ah, uh, really. Sir Gregory Pitkin's visiting card. He's a really wealthy man. Bancliffe belongings. This ring was most likely the one that Sir Rodney wore. He removed it before entering the steam room. Ah, uh, yeah. So basically, there's something I here. I see the join. This ring was repaired and quite badly too. Yeah. With silver. What else An Egyptian mean? symbol. It is a very old jewel. Why on earth would they wear such a ring? Yeah. A very pertinent question. Rodney Bentcliffe's notebook. It may contain something of interest. The last pages were torn out. We must find a way of retrieving Sir Rodney's last lines. Watson, please prevent anyone from entering the room. But first, fetch me a pencil. Ah, the thing we've all done. To begin with, a few strokes of the pencil As children. Would be enough. I don't want to damage the traces. T 
today I almost found this date. Thank you so much for the follow, Luna. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you so, so much for the follow, Luna. Really appreciate it. So good to have you here. I really hope you enjoy your time here. What? Did not reveal enough. But revealed enough today, I almost found it. This date will go and on down in history. And smudge the leftover pencil marks with a handkerchief. I'm sure that Watson won't mind if I use his. <laughs> of course. Ah, <laughs> uh, poor Watson. Ah. Uh. Love these guys. Hey, welcome back, Alpha. Mr. Holmes, the coroner. But what are you doing? Tampering with the evidence? I prefer to make them talk. Today. Today, I almost found it. This date will go down in history. Sir Rodney was about to make an outstanding discovery. Yeah. Wonderful. I could retrieve only the final words. The rest of it is lost. Perhaps the autopsy will assist us in that matter. I'm not sure that I can allow you to inspect the book. I am sure that you might. Well. How dare the constable speaks with Sherlock Holmes, the great Sherlock Holmes in that one. The right eyeball has been must be a stiff Curved bladed knife. That is something. So basically that kind of damage could not be done by a weapon made of ice. So my assumption, my initial assumption was wrong. But we've picked up tongs, so we need to pick up the molten metal at the brazier to see if it was the the curved bladed knife. Ah, so many particle tongs. Uh, nothing here, nothing here. Nothing here. Autopsy. Uh, yeah, everything is just fine, Alpha. Thanks so much for asking. Dear sir, the interests that I represent require the situation at the bats to be changed for the better. At the present time, the frig frigidarium excavations remain under your direction, and yet the works have not progressed. You fail to find anything of value, and we are unable to make the frigidarium excavation further. Okay, so ordinary pencil. Yeah, he was who was urged again? Yeah, so Blint Blinkhorn was urged to end his research as soon when as Gano possible. When found Sir Rodney dead, he wiped the blood upon himself. A file with herbs. Do you know what it is, my dear fellow? It's the St. John's wart flower, Holmes. It's commonly used as a drug against melancholia. However, an overdosage might lead to a rash or even hallucinations. Maybe he is using it as a drug. Who knows? We are about to find out. Uh, I, I think we have the body somewhere here. So the a naked alert, as alert. Um, since I've An unusual played this part before. I know exactly what to expect. By a curved knife, which, according to the coroner, there were no cardiac problems no nor problem. lung congestion, Very but there were traces of fungus, possibly contracted from Egyptian tombs. The coroner observed no stomach nor liver disease, if we're to accept that Sir Rodney was an occasion. Wow. Ah. The drinking and the bruising is in line. Yeah. What the. Hell? Some light bruising caused by a rope. They were caused by a rope around the waist. Sir Rodney was descending somewhere. Okay. Uh, we're not going to look at it again. No. Ah, uh, yeah. 
yeah so so a curved blade is something so before i forget that the murder was done by a curved blade piercing through his eye i'm gonna go to the bath again and then i'm gonna use my tongs to pick up the molten metal near the brazier and inspect Uh, yeah, this, is the, these are the parts. Need to pick up the molten metal. Why, why is this still on? I should analyze this melted metal. Yeah. So, so many evidences here. Yeah. Uh, perform analysis molten metal and uh, Garrow is using St. George Ward's powder. It provokes strong psychological effects. Dialogue. Dialogue. Okay. Blood sample. Analysis. We need analysis. Uh, these dialogues could be made sense from the interrogation. But before that, I'm gonna perform the analysis on my analyzing table. Yeah, I'm gonna call it the analysis table. I'm pretty sure Sherlock Holmes calls it his analysis table too. We're gonna solve this case today. It's gonna be interesting. So, analyzing. Analyzing dirt. Nice. Uh, the dirt. What an amazing magnifying glass this is. something here to analyze yeah pyrite otherwise known as fool's gold fool's gold oh so it looks like gold but it's not actually gold white clay particles white clay particles selenite interesting according to the color and its composition i deduce that this sample is white clay now, I need to find which area near London this sample belongs to. Wow. Wow, what an amazing. So, White London Clay the belongs to... The sample of dirt belongs to the White London Clay region, located near the city of St. Albans. Nice. How's the game so far? Yeah, uh, it's pretty good. Yeah, I'm, I'm really a huge fan of Sherlock Holmes. And, yeah, the game is going pretty well for uh, for game release almost i think it's been s around seven years since the release of this game and uh, you know the graphics are really pretty good but you know there's not much to interact here this blood so that is the reason they have uh, you know concentrated uh, on the graphics but the game is really this good blood yeah has not coagulated well it seems very liquid. That is strange. Ow. Let us see what is inside it. Hydrogen peroxide will bring any foreign matter to the surface. Please, peroxide. I must and place uh, yeah. I must... Pipette. Ah, uh, have it, ha, has anyone else does, uh, did use a pipette? Yeah? During your college days, guys, anyone? Water. This blood is heavily diluted with water. Mm hmm. Analyze metal. This is a piece of metal taken. It appears to be silver, but if it is silver, it will be possible to melt it. Since, Since silver's is. melting point is. A Let us compare this sample with a silver penny. But right if test. it changes color to match the result of. Re nice. So, pipette. Peroxide, peroxide, acid, yeah, of course, peroxide is not the thing. Hey, Alvin, how are you doing today? It's been so long since you've last here, mate. I mean, the yeah. reaction is the same red stain. It is, it is silver. So the analysis of all of the 
So everything is done. So Sir Rodney said I will save the archaeological research at the bats. And uh, anything here, according to Sir Rodney, he was about to make it. What? Very, very liquid blood. Champagne, strange wound. So let me deselect it. Strange wound and very liquid blood. The presence of water is due to the humid atmosphere caused by the steam. The presence of water in the blood is an unexplained clue. It must be somehow linked to the murder process. Hmm. Maybe, maybe from the steam. I'm, I'm guessing it's from the steam because there's so much steam. A bottle of champagne and an ice bucket was found inside the chenya room. We don't know yet who brought it. And Britannia silver. Let me read. Ah, let me just do this. Nothing. Back to arrival, strange move. Nothing. I need to find more clues. Uh, I'm playing uh, Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments, and this is a pretty interesting and uh, a good game. We must try it. Search archives. Yeah, I'm not gonna return to my home again. Take all my letters. Oh, this is X. So let me look it up. Search for Sub Bancliff. Sir Rodney's draft. 1880, 1893. Nice. Bencliff's mummy. Uh, the great excavation in, in directed the archaeological mummy was found within and posed in an unusual position. The right hand was tense as if reaching out for something over to someone. The mummy was buried upright. She was named, she has been named the desperate mummy due to her very peculiar characteristics nearby. To be Roman rather than Egyptian, as some symbols found in the tomb are common with them. Here it is. Okay. By the uh, eye you, you can get the game on Epic Games Store and uh, I got it. Dreadful. I got it for around five dollars if I'm uh, not mistaken, but yeah, it's it's a really good game. You need to find some clues. There's not really uh, fighting going on. There's not really much going on. But uh, you, if you are a Sherlock Holmes fan, or if you are uh, kind of a crime and a uh, crime fan, then you must get it. So the suspects, the belongings, ready to be examined. Not yet examined the entire belongings. What you playing? Uh, yeah, I I am playing Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments, and uh, it's a pretty interesting game. Um, in case you have not tried it, you have to try it. So you can get it on uh, Epic Game Store Alpha. I got it while the sale was running, so I don't really Locked. know the uh, the current price of the game, but uh, you would be able to find it on Epic Games Store. Or, or Steam, whichever you prefer personally. Hmm, a coin with An seven. Old and rather dirty coin written on it uh it looks like something abby will play yeah a hand -drawn yeah map. it's really one of the most interesting games hands down this this is actually the first of the series there is a uh, there is a second one sherlock holmes uh, the devil's daughter and uh, i i i have that game too but uh, I have decided that I'm not going to play the Devil's Daughter unless and until I complete the crimes and punishments. So, yeah, here I am. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Uh, can I be bodyguard? Day, yeah, sir. for sure. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and I am assisting the police with their investigation of the murder 
of Sir Rodney Bentcliffe. Would you? Oh, not at all. Profession. What is? I'm an archaeologist specializing in the Roman period. I am working on. Hmm. Can. Well, we're hoping to retrieve a great many interesting artifacts. Uh, sorry about the pause of the game. Yeah. Facts from the site, and to list any items of value before they. You are now a bodyguard, as I would exhibition. call it. You are now a minister. And has it been successful? It has, thanks to Sir Rodney. I see a little hesitation. What was your? Well, I couldn't say that he was a kind man. No, but, he was, uh, but he was talented. I felt a great admiration for him, I, I must... Was it your first collab? I had met Sir Rodney briefly once in Egypt. Uh, surprisingly, my work did convince him to come here. He... Surpr well, Sir Rodney is, uh, was, uh, God, a cold man, and so very secretive, too. But I learned so much from him. I can't believe that he's dead. Can you tell me what you saw today? Well, we entered the steam room, and we all went to sit down. Uh, the steam was particularly dense, and I didn't see anything much further after that. I just heard Mr. Garrow shouting. Well, we all ran for the door and bumped into each other. I was very alarmed by this point. What did you do? Well, the door was stuck, and with all the steam, it, it was quite frightening. I was barely able to see my own feet. Garrow was covered in blood. Do you believe that Garrow killed Sir Rodney? Oh, no. Uh, Garrow couldn't harm a fly. Hmm. Can you recall any recent event that would occur to you now as being a little strange? Well, yesterday we had a small argument. Is that all? No. Sir Rodney informed me that he was to attend the London Archaeological Congress with me. Then he advised me of quite the opposite. And rather aggressively, too. Ring. Do you recognize... Oh, certainly. It's the famous Aswan ring. Sir Rodney brought it back from his last campaign in Egypt. And he kept it for... Sir Rodney has uh, had his own particular idea. What can you tell me about... Well, he always looks so sad. And uh, he has been acting strangely lately. He complains about voices okay. and visions. Pretty sure he is overdosing of that herbs. Of those herbs. How well were your researchers progressing before Sir Rodney's arrival? Rather dull. Rather well. Rather well? No, rather dull. Uh, Bitkin's letter. This letter reveals that Sir Gregory was prepared to put a stop to you. Uh, yes, but. Since Sir Rodney's arrival, he had calmed down. He allowed us to work. Hmm. What will happen? Well, I haven't thought about that. Uh, but if it's needed, I will fight to defend Sir Rodney. Melted silver. We discovered some melted silver. No. Silver. Champagne. Did you play? No. Okay. Okay. Focus, look, attentive. Nothing here, nothing here. Shabby work, we're not ready, of course. The people who are hardworking and really into their profession are not really wealthy. Especially the uh, scientists. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Good day to you, Sir Gregory. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm assisting the police with their investigation of the murder that took place this morning. Would you mind answering a few questions? Tell me, Mr. Holmes, will I need to stay here for very much longer? Yeah, of course. You are really a uh, You man. are the manager of the baths, is that correct? Yeah. Yes. I'm passionate about archaeology. I wanted to restore the ruins. My ambition is to open... Living archaeology can be a profitable business. Well, now I'm not so sure. When... What was your relationship with Sir Rodney Bentcliffe? People possessed by genius may be forgiven for their nature, but not by me. Was he obstruct? Not at all. Everything he did led us to greater success. Yeah, he helped us... The potential of the building. 
Please tell me what happened this morning. The test that we performed this morning was a success. The steam was working well. But then, of course, that awful mur- What did you see? The steam was too thick to see anything. But ask- Ask Garo. Had Sir Rodney exhibit- Look, I'm not a suspicious fellow. But I think that he had professional interests elsewhere that he did not wish us to know about. Why should you- th I have no idea. How was the work progressing before Sir Rodney's arrival? Rather slowly, I would say. Really? Uh, bit and slip. Yeah. Sir Gregory, could you please explain this letter? You expressed the wish to call off the research what a surprise. work paths. It was all about Blinkhorn. He was merrily digging away and taking very little care about it, ruining everything and finding nothing of any value. But the arrival of Sir Rodney changed your mind? Sir Rodney's work was extremely promising, and it was good for the Bard's publicity. So yes, I changed my mind. Are you aware that Mr. Garrow is under a form of medication? Garrow? No. But I never liked that. Oh. Do you ah. believe him to be capable of... So murder? rude. Well, he Calling did someone a parasite. Does that make him a murderer? Some melted silver was found in... Silver? Did you bring... Absolutely not. Arrogant look. Boss. Mild shape. Disdain? What does that mean? Aristocratic roots. Please Terror. escort this suspect for interrogation. A good day to you. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm assisting the police Such with their investigation so of the murder of Sir Rodney Bentcliffe. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? Ah, uh, uh, I am Tristram Garrow. What is your occupation? I, I am a counsellor at the... And what were you doing? Well, I, I follow the researches. I am, uh... I, I... You follow? Yes. So many things happened and we, we need to know. Or perhaps it's better hidden. What the hell is he talking pardon, about? Mr. Garrow. I, uh, I, I meant nothing. Okay, he's, like he's really tripping on something. It was like uh, working with, with a genius. He was a hard man. Uh, but then, you, you know, this world is hard. There are always people who want to steal from you. What do you, and he, what do you uh, mean by He trusted me, but, uh... Oh. Are you feeling unwell? Oh, I'm sorry. He is I. Oh, I remember. Oh, I, I feel so sorry. Do you need it? I, uh... Oh, I, I, I feel bad. I, uh... I, I hear... No. Nothing. I, 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 I'm better now. Please try to recall what you saw today. The room was so, so hot, uh, I had to remove my glasses. I was not feeling so very well in, in there. But you found the body. I saw the knife, you know. Flying through the air, I, I, I saw the blood. I tried to escape, I, I don't remember. You saw the knife? What did it look like? Everything was as if in, in a nightmare. It all happened so fast. The knife was, was shining like, like gold. Makes sense. Cause had Sir Rodney exhibited any recent strange behavior? Well, he, he had been rather secretive these past few days. Last Thursday, for, for example, I, I saw him leave. When he returned, it, it was very late. He showed me some wet coins, Roman coins, and uh, he, he started to laugh. What? Ring. His ring! Oh, it should be destroyed. Why do you say that? It is a cursed ring, digging dark secrets. Really? I... Uh, it is after me now. I know it. Uh, I shouldn't have worked on it in the workshop. It's too late now. This is the coin that, that he showed me. It is from the third century. It must be very rare. No, I... I, I, I don't know. Thank you. Thank you. This will help me to calm down. 
do be careful with the dosage. I, I will. Do be careful I mean with the it. dosage. We discovered some melted silver in the... It didn't help. The power is too strong. What? Did you place the bottle of... What? No. Reactive amulet, Amsa hand, superstitious, dirt all over, perspiration, nothing here, nothing here, nothing, not. Eye bags. <laughs> Garrow appears to be rather mentally disturbed. Either that or he is a good actor. Hmm. Uh, what evidence do we have here? Nothing. So, I just need to... Yeah. So many clues. A bottle of champagne and an ice bucket was found inside the changing room. Let me select this one. So, we don't know... We don't yet know who brought it. Get out of glasses. No, no connection. And secretly. How do we come to know about Sir Rodney? Sir Gregory wanted to, f wanted to fire Blinkhorn in order to stop the excavation of the Roman bells so that he might open them to the public. And uh, Sir Rodney's lie. Inside Brazier. Okay, okay. They're moving really, really fast. Too many, too many things to handle. The wound was made peculiarly with a curved and sharp weapon. And, uh, the. Sir Rodney's lie. Broken glasses. Nothing here, nothing. Uh, Garrow's drug. Melancholia. Effect of arrival, sir. Running, stolen lies, champagne. Strange man, broken glasses, arrow struck. Effect of arrival, champagne. So, we don't know yet who brought it. Sir Rodney's lie, broken glass, Pitkins, Garrow struck. No, I have a feeling these clues have no, make no sense. Hey, welcome back, MBTS. I'm trying to make some s connection between two uh, clues here. Broken glasses, Garrett's glasses were broken by the heat. Brazier. Oh, okay. An item of silver has been recently melted in the brazier. But that's... that's not a deduction. According to Sir Rodent notes, he was about to make... remarkable history. But... Sir Rodney was lying. Why would Sir Rodney be hiding anything? Could his discovery be the motive for his crime? Find out where Sir Rodney was several days before his murder and uncover his precious secret. Of course, champagne. Pitman's fight. No. Garrow's drug. Stolen notes. Inside Brazier. Pitman's fight. Nice. So Blinkhorn's work was saved by the arrival of Sir Rodney, but a high cost to his morale. Blinkhorn's humiliation being Blinkhorn's interest. Blinkhorn definitely seems to be the guy. Uh, 
to be humiliated because uh, I did interrogate him. So yeah, it's it's a really really interesting game if you are a fan of Sherlock Holmes. Hand drawn map found amongst the uh, uh, points to the location of St. Elephants at the north of London can be found on the map at Baker Street. What important discovery was Sir Rodney about to make at Baker Street? Let me go to Baker Street to my home and then uh, find out the location, the exact precise location on the map and find out about his discovery that he was talking about. Now we have two maps. We must. I've done this before. So, what am I looking for again here? Hmm. Nice. Okay. I'm looking for some. Yeah, here it is. Watson, pack your bag. We are visiting a location in St. Albans marked on Sir Rodney's map. Ah, uh, I pity Watson. Ah, I see some really green vegetation nice so this is the place where sir rodney was working and he was about to make uh, um, a remarkable discovery so we are here to find out about that this discovery. is the map of the site we are at the heart of an old roman city wow Hidden Temple of Mithras. Followers of Mithras were covered, worshipping more conventional deities such as Juno or Neptune in their everyday lives. Mithras temples were usually found below the temples of other gods. Mithras followers often refer to <coughs> their traditional deities to gain passage to the Mithraeum. The example of the Mithraeum of Dio in France is interesting as the entrance was located beneath a carved statue of Diana. This entrance was possibly revealed by a clever stone and rope mechanism which may have never been discovered if the water infiltration had not destroyed the mechanism, opening the way down to the Mithraeum. Mithraic temples can be found in Rome. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Okay, so basically we are looking for a hidden temple. Maybe that must be the remarkable history. I mean, discovery. The cult of Mithras was a mysterious religion practiced within the Roman Empire from around the 1st to 4th century AD. The name of the Persian god Mithra, adopted by the Greek as Mithras, was linked to a new and distinctive imagery. Worshippers of Mithras had a complex system of seven grades of initiation with ritualistic meals. Initiates would have uh, would meet in the underground temples called Mithrae, Mithraea. Uh, that were retained in large numbers. The iconic scenes of Mithras showed him as being born from a rock and uh, slaughtering a bull. What's this one? The knife used by the Mithras was the sacrifice of bull. It's originally a curved Nice. Everything is now starting to make sense. Sir Rodney was killed by a curved knife. And uh, the knives that Mithras used to kill the bulls for the sacrifice is also a curved blade. Its curve can be from 5 to 15 degrees. The name is derived from the Persian word Shamshir, which means sword. This radically curved sword family includes the Shamshir, Skimita, Talwar, Kilij, Palwa, and Mongol Sabre. A myth of the golden knife is the key to the mythic mysteries that some describe as an equivalent to the holy grail. The golden knife carries a curse that will spill the blood of the unworthy who dare to touch it. Everything is now starting to make sense. Now this note here says that the golden knife carries a curse that will spill the blood of the unworthy who dare to touch it. If they, these words are to be taken seriously, 
about the curse and stuff and also of course the other guy who we interrogated just now took those words seriously so he was really worried that uh, the curse would also kill him because he worked with uh, the archaeologist but yeah let's see and the empty coconuts that he used to imitate the sound of horses hooves another strange ritual for the old gods to keep the evil spirits away the people feeling that the dark eye was upon them melt their valuables in the fire sub sahar would melt their valuables in the fire this is something that you need to underline sub saharan tribes burned fruits and the rich roman families spared no expense melting silver or tin nice everything is now starting to make sense we found melted silver at the brazier in the roman baths and now melting silver or tin is considered as a ritual of maybe the mithrae yeah mithras the followers of mithras it is not recorded if such valuable offerings were thrown away with the ashes or if they were reused at a later date and empty coconuts the people f- the people feeling that the dark eye was upon them would melt their valuables in the fire sub saharan tribes burn fruit and the rich roman family spared no expense melting silver or tin so rich roman families burned silver or tin when they are scared of some dark eye watching them watson you scared me there please stop here don't follow me nice so this seems to be the entry to it a mithras temple this is named the triclinum the triclinum sorry about that guys i missed 22 <laughs> yeah it's shallow exact address which nice 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 Ooh, we've got some really good Sherlock Holmes fans. Uh, well, watch out for the Epic Games Store. Make sure you uh, have Epic Games Store installed, and I'm pretty sure they would give out uh, Sherlock Holmes. Not this one, of course. The Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments has has been given out before for free. So I assume they're not gonna give out Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments, but they are gonna give out. Uh, What's the next? The Devil's Daughter. The yeah. Cyclops, a one-eyed creature helping Vulcan at the forge. Wow. The Cyclops that we see in movies is really Vulcan, different. The God of Fire and Metalworking. And this painting. Yeah, even though this is a one-eyed guy, he looks fine to me. Yeah, I would go and ask him, "Hey, how are you doing today?" I mean, not really, but yeah. maybe if he asks me then i would answer him yeah i'm doing pretty ropes. fine until you arrived i don't need the ropes for now you don't need the ropes so we ah, pretty interesting take excavating tools a bucket shovel and brush Hmm. Ah, uh, archaeologist. This is going to be interesting. I examined that house right there. So, construction hooks. construction hooks so yeah so we could interact with that rope right there that we found right there and we have some hooks as well maybe we need to uh, simulate some mechanism somewhere out here nice statues good neptune the god of the sea and who is a statue of minerva minerva 
I'm really bad with these. It is a broken statue of a bull. A broken statue of a bull. Where have I seen bull before? Yeah, the Mithras sacrificed a bull with a curved blade. And the there's also a myth related to a golden blade and its curse. Yeah, I need to remember that. The deduction would be really, really easy. Nice. So, something here. Hmm. This wall was covered with mud recently. Why? It could be hidden here. Use shovel. Okay, so where did I last see the Frigidarium? Is that a U or a V? Yeah, Frigidarium. Is this the Frigidarium at the Roman Baths? Which is... Uh, kind of covered in stones and kind of demolished and destroyed when we try to investigate it. Yeah, done. I can see now. <laughs> you took longer than expected to see, Sherlock. Frigidarium. It is located at exactly. the baths in London. Someone took the time to hide the fresco, but what for? I need to visit this place. Yeah. And for that, the rocks need to be cleared. Yeah, I should watch Sherlock Holmes. I, I honestly never get bored of the Sherlock Holmes movies by Robert Downey Jr. I'm, I'm, since I'm both a fan of Robert Downey Jr. and uh, Sherlock Holmes, I never get bored. Kind of, you know, kind of analyze and kind of think like Sherlock Holmes, but, you know, she was just, uh, you know, a mythical character. This we, can, is used we cannot really call him a mythical character. Yeah, he's a fiction, fictional character. So. Hmm. The door has been left open. Someone did not care or was in haste. Hey, thank you so much for the host. I mean, thank you so much for the luck, Michael. I really, really appreciate it. Have a nice time while lurking. Okay, Ben Cliff's power. Dear Lord Blackmore, the manager of the bath, Sir Gregory Pitkin, was quite a nuisance at the start when I arrived. When I arrived. After you stepped in, he became rather more helpful. Occasionally, people of this rank are not well suited to a work of such great magnitude. They lack the necessary vision. In a few weeks' time, I hope to bring good news of the Strand Lane Bats. I'm on the verge of discovering a major archaeological artifact, one that might be politically used by your party. Demonstrate the strength of our ancestors and fulfill the needs to protect our empire from any present and future threats. So, Sir Rodney Bentcliffe wrote this to Lord Blackmore. Nice. Nice. So, we already knew that uh, Lord uh, Bentcliffe had uh, many connections with the politicians. And he's a powerful man. Calvin, Hobbes and you consider yourselves as being so smart and funny. I had a good laugh when you froze Miss Durkin's notes about the, in the ice. However, our thesis exams are just ahead. And as you are a so-called brain of your improbable duo, I have to warn you that my... Gastrofetus model, the ancient Greek crossbow, and not the medieval device to relieve constipated people, <laughs> as you might have thought. It's not to be touched, or else I'll have to in inform Mr. Wormwood about everything you've done these past two years. P.S. I hate Hobbes tuna sandwich. So, Hobbes and someone else had done something in the past two years is that really necessary maybe we could just you know throw it in this try to remember it. of an ancient greek crossbow this is object of interest schematic so an ancient greek crossbow would be used to the gas yeah. were used with ropes and hooks for sieges so we have a crossbow we have rope and we have hooks we just need to find a place to test it out, uh, you know? 
What's here? This Map again. The 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 gas uh, nice, nice. Nothing here. Just a really peaceful and calm flown river. Nice graphics there. Even though this game was released around eight years ago, this these are some really good graphics. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing to examine here. Uh, did I, did I, kind of, see what's right here, maybe, okay, <clears throat> so, nothing here, let me look at my clues, did you watch series with Doctor Strange acting, yeah, yeah, Benedict Cumberbatch now, I have not seen the Sherlock Holmes series, but uh, I have definitely seen the movies with Robert Downey Jr. as uh, Sherlock Holmes. But I really wish I would see the series. Some say that the series is really good. Strange wound. Cub weapon. So, Sir Rollins' arrival saved the archaeological research at the Bats. Sir Gregory was complaining about power of the Bats. <clears throat> Pitkin feels rather uncomfortable postponing the public opening of the Roman bath because of Sir Rodney. He was angry because no, Pitkin expects to receive much more value of those. Yeah. Uh, anything else? Champagne. Stolen notes. Carol struck. Strange wound. Inside razor. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they have no connection. So, find out where Sir Rodney was several days before his marriage. So, he was here several days before. Sir Rodney had left Leeds that point towards Frigidarium at Roman Baths. What important discovery was Sir Rodney about to make? We need to find that out. Using the crossbows and uh, the... Oh, you... You are right here. Nice one, Watson. Thank you for listening to my words and uh, staying right there. Bits. Area 2. Bits. Uh, nothing here. This bit has been covered. Where am I hearing these birds? Am I missing something here? Have I covered the entire area? Let me check for one last time. Okay, so this rail track is used to transfer. Railway is used to transfer goods from one place to another. Oh, nothing here. Object of interest. This is a reproduction of an ancient Greek crossbow. So we know now, for now we know that we need to... Uh, reproduce the crossbow using the crossbow parts on that table right there and the rope and the hooks. But as of right now we don't know exactly what to expect. It's on Netflix. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna watch it, yeah. So, let me, let me go back to the Roman baths. <clears throat> Anything in the deductions? Prince of water due to humid atmosphere caused by the steam. I'm pretty sure it's steam. Mr. Holmes, we've cleared the corridor. Thank you, Mr. Finn. Nice. Frigidarium, yeah. I'm pretty sure I've uh, examined everything here. Did I? 
Yes, I did. What weird sound that O makes. Nice. So, Frigidarium. Let's go. So, th so the, the picture of this Frigidarium was found right there. At, well, where Sir Drodney was working a few weeks ago. But, uh, it has been covered with mud intentionally. Perhaps I could find some clues by activating the flag. Okay, so first of all, I need to activate something here. And, uh, spider. So maybe there's an order to this. Or maybe there's no order. I, I'm pretty sure there's some order. One eyed face. Ooh, this Cyclops guy. Okay, so we need to find a specific order here. So let me just do this order right here. Let me do the helmet first. Let me do the spider next. Anything here? No, just some. Nothing special here, nothing special here. The jug. So there are four structures. No, actually six structures. I need to use eight structures. For sure, for sure. I'm gonna mess this up, pretty sure. Okay, let me try to remember everything here. Ah, I don't even remember a single symbol now. Maybe these symbols... Okay, did something happen? Mm, nothing, nothing. So, yeah, I think some of the structures, I mean, some of the buttons need to be uh, pushed out and some need to be pushed in. So, I just need to find out the which button need to be pushed out and which need to be pushed in. Hmm. Before exploring the buttons, let me just explore anything else inside here. Hmm. Some need to be pushed out, some some need to be pushed in. Do we have something here? There's a statue of Minerva, the goddess of war. That's it. Uh the sent statue of Neptune, the, the god of sea. Fresco depicting Vulcan and Cyclops at work in the forge. Twelve pieces that might be combined into a casting mold. Dialogue. A book about Mithric mysteries and the cult of Mithras. So, let me go to Baker Street and then uh, try to kind of make the do I need to go to my analysis table for making that mold with those 12 pieces yeah there are 12 pieces here let's try to gather them they are here gathered of course no Rotator. Ah, this is gonna be not so tough, no. So simple. 
I need to find out. So this place goes right, this piece goes right here because uh, there are no indentations on the outside. So just find, trying to find out. So this, uh, this piece was, would go right here. Swap two pieces. Exactly. Do we have anything right here? So this piece would go right here. Also. Yeah. Hmm, strange. Maybe this... We have... Once we have all of the corner pieces, it must be really easy. I, I'm thinking this is another corner piece. Nice. So, we, we... We have two corner pieces. Is this another corner piece? Yes, it is. It is... So this has been matched. So this this has been matched. This has been matched. We yeah. this now the last corner piece. Where is it? Is this a corner piece? No, it's not a corner piece. Nice. So we is this matched? Maybe it's not matched. And then. So the this is matched. This is matched. This is matched. This is matched. Pretty sure I'm going in the right direction. I'm going on the right path. To victory. So, is this a corner piece? Yeah, I need to... Yeah. Do this. Mm, nice. I need to... This is verified. This is not, not verified. So, maybe... The, these two need to be switched so that we have the triangle piece right here and uh, the triangle piece is kind of in place okay so with reference to this piece right here we need to make the decisions so this piece has that's a good thing, you know, starting with a, with a single piece and going about the thing. So this here is done. Okay, this here is also... No, this, not, this is not done. This is done. This is not done. Is this this piece doesn't even have? Yeah, this this does it does. My bad. Yeah, this is done. Yeah, now this is with reference to this piece right here. The bottom piece is done. With respect to bottom piece, this is done. With respect to this, this is done. With respect to this, this is not really done. Now this is done. Sorry if I'm boring you guys. Uh, I just, you know, I don't... Uh, there's a skip uh, option right there when I press space, but... You know, I really, really want to play this game to the fullest. Hmm. 
So we have, if you have to have a vertical thing here, when I, when I move this part to right here, this must make sense, it does, no. simple and uh, yet effective, okay. Excuse me. Maybe this part one. Okay, this is a triangle thing. But maybe this swap out with this. Yeah. Wow, what a, what a puzzle, what a puzzle. But, no, we need to find another triangle. Is this the triangle that we are looking for? Is this the triangle that we are looking for? No. So that basically means we are... Hmm... So this piece is fixed. We we nice. Oh, okay, we need a triangle thing. I thought this was a triangle, no? Here is the triangle. Nice. Nice. Now, 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 now. Exchange. These two pieces right here. Ah, uh, vertical rotation. So that, that would basically mean that I exchange these two pieces. And of course, spin it around vertically. Done, so done, so this is gonna be done, guys. Just give me around 30 seconds. And almost done, and done. It is a mold. And it is ready for casting. How many murder mysteries in the game? So the many. Prepared for casting. So many. We just need to fill it with certain material. Sir Rodney has made a reconstruction of the mythical golden knife. He seemed unafraid wow. of maledictions, and yet... Half a glass of water should be enough to create a plaster solution. Half a glass of water? So it's not really about uh, murders uh, every time, you know. Uh, the last case was about a missing train. And uh, yeah, it was really, really interesting.
So this is the... Now, let's see what we have here. Yeah, this is exactly the curved knife knife that was used to kill this Sir Rodney. This is very similar to that described by yeah. the coroner as the weapon that killed Sir Rodney. You should not leap to any hasty conclusions, Watson. <laughs> the mole found the mole found in Saint Arabans was created to co copy the golden knife of Mithras. Its shape fits the pattern of the murder weapon and strange wound. Peculiarly curved and sharp weapon. Mold was used to create a murder weapon. Possibly uh, an item of silver has been recently melted in the brazier. Check if we can create a silver knife with the materials found. Nice. Analysis table again. Let us try to create an object from silver. Uh, it will take a minute to melt the silver with my gas burner. Done. Now I can proceed further. I wish I was a detective. Is hot. I should wait for it to cool down. If if the detective jobs were really Done. paid enough, now I can proceed further. paid well, I promise that I would become a detective. Nice. A homemade silver knife. Homemade silver knife. Excellent. We have created a knife with the silver that we found. It could have been used to kill Sir it Rodney. It could have been used, but we don't know. Clever to create a weapon that could dissolve at the scene of the crime. My analysis table. It is useful for my work. Silver knife. We can create a silver weapon from the clues found at the crime scene. And uh, Britannia silver. Uh, the silver weapon was used and then destroyed in the brazier after the crime. The murderer hid the weapon in the clouded steam room. He then placed the knife in the brazier in order to destroy it, which resulted in the melted silver that we found. But then again, we read about. Uh, Mithras and Mithras followers kind of offering the melted silver as a thing. My analysis table. It is useful. Any more clues here? Gallows drug, champagne, stolen notes, none. No connection here. The last expedition. Where do we have to... Sir Rodney Bencliff had left leads that points towards the Frigidarium. Who killed Sir Rodney Bencliff? So, find a statue of... Uh, okay. I need to go to the Scotland Yard to speak to the archaeologists about the cult practices of the... Mithras, because, yeah. <clears throat> what can you tell? Oh, so much. It was the. Were you seeking the golden knife? Ah, I see you are an amateur. Yes. Amateur. The golden knife was our grail. It is said that it bears the only text explaining the ritual of the cult of Mithras. Wow. I understand. I read something about immortality. A myth. The knife would provide immortality only to the worthy one, and yet it is cursed, and it would kill you if you were not initiated. Did you expect to find the golden knife at the baths? Well, Sir Rodney thought that it might be there. Uh, did you observe the knife representations there? They are so extraordinary, uh, and we had hoped that... Oh, it is a tragedy that he has passed away, taking all of his secrets with him. As soon as I've been released, I will continue Sir Rodney's researches in his memory. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. 
I'm gonna ask him. This guy, this guy seems to know a lot more about Mithras. Perhaps you could explain the cult of Mithras to me. No, there, there is nothing to say. We, we, we are not the worthy ones. But Sir Rodney believed that he was? He was wrong. I, I have visions. The golden knife, the, the mummy. Oh, it's all my fault. Calm tripping. down, Mr. Garrow. <sighs> Please. What does this guy know about the Mithras? The Nothing. paintings in the baths are focused on Mithras, I understand. Yes, they are what make this place remarkable. And that is why Sir Rodney came here? He believed that the golden knife, which is an ancient ritual item, was hidden somewhere around the baths. I admit that it would be wonderful if it were true. And you are not concerned by the reputation of this artifact? You mean the curse. Before someone is dead, it is a blessing. After they are dead, well, then it becomes a curse. Ah, such a practical man. But yet, arrogant. So I don't like Garrow's behavior. Everyone has noticed that Garrow has been acting very strangely and complaining of fighting hallucinations. Garrow is under a strong medication for melancholia. Garrow is tortured by his obsession with the Mithras curse. He has been driving driven insane a condition worsened by the medica medication medication this he's a victim of all medication as the hallucination and predictable behavior status has been worsened by the shock of so okay Lincoln's work was saved by the arrival but at high cost of his morale Why do these both don't go together? Garrow's illness tortured by the obsession with the Mithras curse. Maybe, maybe. Let's see. Let's go further into the investigation. I'm not sure that I can. Do you have something else to ask me? Hmm. Anything here? Find a use. So we have buttons at the Roman baths. That's of Neptune. Fresco depicting Vulcan and Cyclops. So let me go to the Saint Albans. Hmm. This archaeological site has been abandoned. Why did Bentcliffe come here? Hmm. Nothing to explore here, I guess. Yeah, I'm guessing nothing to explore here. Can we take the map? No. The door has been left open. Someone did not care or was in haste. That must be Sir Rodney Bentcliffe. Fresco. Cyclops. Vulcan. Cyclops helping the God of Fire and Forging, which is with, with his. Uh, creations oh I did not examine this table here is there something to examine no, nothing just a few numbers hmm I don't need I don't I don't need the ropes for now so, I see that there's something. So, uh, yeah, the rope could be used right here to extract something, but we are gonna use the ropes for the crossbow. And, uh, yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Hmm. The statue of Minerva. 
do I need to move them? No, I cannot move them. Minerva and uh, Neptune statues. Find a use. Find a use to these hooks. Of course. I'll find a use to all of them. All, all, all. Let me examine this area once again. So someone was trying to hide the frigidarium. Maybe it was Sir Rodney Bentcliffe. Because he did not want anyone else to know that the golden knife was inside the frigidarium. Schematic. Hmm. Nothing of interest here. Okay. Statue of Minerva. Find a use. Send Arban's site has a statue of Neptune, the god of sea. Fresco depicting Vulcan. Who killed Sir Rodney? What important discovery was Sir Rodney about to make? We know that, right? We know about the golden knife. I don't need the ropes for now. So let me go to the cotton yard. Have I examined their belongings? Left leads that point toward the Frigidarium and the Roman Baths. Let me go to the Frigidarium real quick and then let me see what else can be found there. Sorry about that, Yon. Nothing here. So no one went in or came out because uh, the doors open. Really loud, but This could also happen. This attic. Uh, something here. Maybe I'll explore slower. have some missing yeah so we do have some missing statues here are these missing statues are these statues for some scorpion uh one eyed face examine I need to know the order here. 
so there's a helmet right here and uh, there is a spider there are spiders all over the floor representing the spiders entry from right there there's a jug right here this lady doesn't seem to be needing that jug oh i found nemo nice how are you doing today nemo so good to have you here mate thank you so much for joining the stream i really appreciate your luck by the way i see that you don't really care what i say so There's also Dory. Oh, I've also found Dory. Nice. This is a really good place for them. Really vast place and at the same time, you know. You don't really need to search for Nemo and Dory again because they cannot escape. Okay. Okay, so. Mm-hmm. Ah. One eyed face. Scorpion. There are no scorpions here. Will you show are there? No. Oh, there's this, there's this, there's this, there's this guy's statue again. The trident. Uh, okay, so there's a fine. Saint has a statue of Neptune, the god of sea. So this statue right here is holding a trident. A jug, a trident, a jug, spider, helmet. I'm pretty sure helmet is associated with this statue. Ship, one eyed face. So one eyed face and it's Cyclops. Who is here again? Scorpion. Cat what's what is Caracas again? Oh this thing. Hmm. So something else? Uh, I'm missing something here. Let me look at the find use. Who kills Sir Ronnie Bentley? Roman bats. So Sir Rodney Bentley left. I mean was killed before he found nothing here before he has found his valuable treasure he's about to make a remarkable discovery hmm oh I need to I need to go to the uh, image right there to the at the uh, Saint Albans and then maybe the image has something to tell about the switches let's hope the image has something to tell if the image doesn't have something to tell it's 
these statues right here these mean something so let me let me see ah so there's this specific order right here i don't know if this actually makes sense but there are other five buttons uh no they are there are no five buttons so these are the exact same statues found at the frigidarium Anything here? Nothing. Frigidarium. Frigidarium. These are the city's Roman baths. What might be hidden there? I see nothing really interesting on, on, the, on the picture right there. Hmm. There must be something. The short pillars. Nope. <coughs> We've got the trident and the helmet, and I'm pretty sure these statues would also uh, match with the statues near the Frigidarium. But I just need to associate these things and maybe deduce what buttons should be pushed out and what buttons should be pushed in what were the buttons if i remember right a trident a helmet a spider there was no bull but also i need to make some use of the Crossbow, the rope, and the hooks. Something like that, a symbol right there. No, <coughs> uh, let let me just verify if these two statues are exactly the same statues that I found at the Frigidarium. Let me just verify that and let me just conclude. Press code victim, Vulcan, Cyclops working with the forge. I'm pretty sure all of these find a use would be done when uh, I push in and push out the buttons. So, he's trying to help this guy, nothing here. He's trying to help this guy using tongs, picking up something. And he is standing. Does that mean basically all these standing characters are pushed outwards? 
Does that mean anything? No. I, I make no sense sometimes. <coughs> I absolutely make no sense. Most of the time, actually. Yeah, no. Pretty heavy. Straight to <coughs> Hmm. A statue of <coughs> Minerva. Exactly the same statue again. Uh, the remaining two statues are missing, of course. Is this lady the same statue? She is, but... Trident. Pushed out or pushed in? Pushed out or pushed in? Let me, let me just, you know, push out all of these things, all of the other things first, all of the other symbols. Let me push in all of the other symbols and then push out the Minerva, Cyclops and push in, oh, push out, push out. Yeah, I need to have some water, yeah. But... <clears throat> Helmet. Need to push this out. Okay. So the helmet is pushed out. The spider is pushed in. Where are you, the other guy? The jug is pushed in. The trident is pushed out. So, nothing happened here when I keep those buttons pushed out. Maybe let me just push in the three buttons. Trident. Jug. I've never found a jug. Uh, this or a clue related to a jug. Hmm. Helmet pushed in. Okay, is that the, is that the key right there? There's a, there's a symbol right here when I push it in. A hidden sign. Wow. This is exactly what I need. Push back. Maybe push in just the symbols with the hidden sign. A hidden symbol. Of course. <clears throat> the game has been saved. Scorpion, push out scorpion. There's no hidden symbol here. Everything done? Everything, everything done as... Push out, pushed out scorpion. A symbol. Now I have all the clues to help me find where these symbols are leading. All I need is imagination. Finally, finally, finally. Combine all three statue elements to reveal a secret. Okay, so Okay, 
this maybe must be the right thing. Uh, yeah. Why are the hunters still matching up? Yeah, finally. Ooh the signs are pointing to this bust. GG's, yeah. Rotate, nice. Finally found something, yay! Now I can drink some water. If I have some, at least. Yep. Ah, that was, that was really enough. For the day. <clears throat> Just kidding, guys. Drink enough water. At least six liters each day. Now, which door was open again? That one. Nice, nice. Ah. What is this place? I am unsure, Watson, but everything points to the fact that it was the last place visited by Sir Rodney Bentcliffe. We are approaching the end of this mystery. Yeah, I have that feeling too. Because yeah, I've been playing this game for really, really long. This case for a really long time now. broken glass plate what is it doing here i should examine it at baker street of course lamp how ah. very peculiar an ice maker why would sir rodney have brought such a device here a sack of crude salt. i now also remember that someone brought champagne with an ice box Fresco. Mithras, the god, clothed in Anatolian costume and wearing a Phrygian cap, killing the bull. Yeah, Mithras. <laughs> this fresco resembles either a ladder or a hierarchy. A hierarchy, most probably. Have I seen this symbol somewhere? No, I have not. Uh, one of the paintings is... Nice! Nice, this is exactly what I want a game to be. Like... The fire casts a shadow upon the floor. <clears throat> okay, so this is the shadow. That is the symbol of Neptune, the god of the sea. Nice. Nice. Okay. So, I need to light up these things. For them to be able to... Cast all their shadows. So this pillar cast a shadow. This pillar is... Animal it head. A bull. Yeah. It is very similar to the face of Mithras. Yeah. That is the symbol of Neptune, the god of the sea. M missing symbol. Animal it head. Animal head. Missing symbol. The pillar collapsed a long time ago. Ooh, hoo, hoo. what an amazing Sherlock Holmes! You are the man. You are the. You are a legend. This shadow seems to represent a bridge. The shadows show us the way to go. We will find Mithras. 
after Neptune, the bull, the and the bridge. bridge. Neptune, the bull, and the bridge. We will find Mithras after the... Find the way to the Mithraeum. Search the tunnels completed. Mummies everywhere. Search the tunnels completed. Since it has given me an achievement, I'm not gonna waste some time here. The Mithraeum lies hidden at the third St. Alban excavation site. The bridge piers seem to hold a secret. Nice. Now this is exactly where I would need the crossbow, the ropes, and the hooks. Finally. Uh, we, we would find Mithras after the after Neptune and uh, the bull and the bridge so I'm gonna need this rope of course I'm gonna need these hooks I am gonna need the crossbow Yeah, so where is the bridge basically? Is this the bridge? Yeah, it is. This is a So the bull and the bridge. Neptune, the god of It is a broken statue of a bull. Broken statue of a bull. I see those hooks right there. I don't drink. These metal rings to... We should. There might be something behind these leaves. Wow, Perhaps true. A way of getting them. Wow. Sherlock Holmes, the the man, you know, trying to solve a murder case, and then you know. I should use the appropriate object here. I should use the... I should use the appropriate... Mechanism housing. Shutter. Uh... Shutter? I should use the... I should... I should now put back rotate shutter groove shutter almost done almost done where, where would I keep the bow the bow would be right here Those rings on the bridge are perfect targets. Firing the best defeaters requires a of course. This one is ready. Ah, oh, just a little, little off right there. This one is ready. The bridge is ready. Now I must cross it. Hmm. Take a step. Shift to the left, shift to the right. Oh, 
Oh shoot. Another secret entrance to something. Wow. We found Mithras. Mithras. Are we inside the hidden temple of Mithras, Holmes? Yes. I am not sure. We had better be careful. Mithraeum, yeah. We are inside the Mithraeum. I saw this symbol in the tunnels underneath the Frigidarium. Ooh. Cool. Which way should we go, Holmes? There ought to be some clues here. Let's, Let's take, take a look, a look around. around. I... I saw this symbol in the tunnel. I saw... I saw the symbol under the tunnels. I saw... Which way should we go, Holmes? Ah, uh, this, this, this. This may not be the right way. Which way should we go, Holmes? Which way should we go, Holmes? Some clues. No clues there, right there. So I saw this. I saw symbol. this symbol in the tunnel. Uh, maybe. Plus. Initiation grades of the cult of Mithras. First, let me go to this symbol. Is there a symbol? Yeah. Then we go to here okay among these three symbols yeah this one pretty sure and after that To one of these table with stones, rock, scales. Ooh, uh, no. So this is the smallest rock, and then, this is the smallest, I mean this is, that is the lightest mechanism. This is the biggest rock, let me put it right here, let me put the smallest rock right here. Ah, nice. Finally. So, we came through this one. Next, we need to go to this, or this, or this. 
we have this or this let me verify again the helmet yeah the helmet we do have the helmet here yeah. is this is this the same helmet pretty sure Up to the helmet, we have uh, these three symbols. Not this one, not this one, maybe this one. Do we have this here? Yeah. Hmm. After through here, we have these two. We have the. Uh, The final one is it? Is it? Is this the final one yet? Yeah, this second last. We have these three. Ah, uh, yeah. I think this is the symbol. Yeah. Yeah. This must be the symbol. Again, we have two fruits here, and it's getting creepy. I hear someone. Uh, Mithras, is that you, mate? I came through right here. Hmm. Nice. The last, last one. Mithras, I'm coming for you, mate. You are... D E A D dead. I mean I mean if you're a god I don't want to kill you or something. Which way should we go, Holmes? There's no other way other than these stairs, Watson. You really are. Ooh, another puzzle here. We came in through here. Ah, uh, this is gonna take. This gonna take longer than anticipated. Hmm. It's gonna take a while. Look, it's the golden knife. But how to get wow. Are we inside the hidden temple of Mithras, Holmes? Of course. Where else could we be? This lamp is not old. The oil is still fresh. No, I do not think so. Remember, he went no further than the catacomb underneath the Frigidarium. The murderer left this lamp. The murderer left this lamp. A broken lamp. Nice. Do we have somewhere to go here? Yeah. So... We have to activate. Nice. Watson, I need your help. Okay, so this this one has been activated, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Nice. What does this one activate? Ok, 
Okay, well, I'll drop this one activate. We don't need this one as a fight now. Oh, I doubt this one actually. Nice. So get out of there. Oh, so maybe for Sherlock to get out of there, I need to first uh, activate this lever. Yeah, no, so that Sherlock gets out. Sherlock, get out. Please, Sherlock. Get out. And now wait here, mate. Wait here. The golden knife of Mithras. A long, A long lost, lost relic has resurfaced. Watson. It is time to conclude this case. Wow. Dude, I'm without Hey, thank you so much for stopping by, Alpha. Really appreciate it. Uh, have a good time. And. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. We must find a way out of here. So, is our entrance closed? This no, it's not entirely closed. We got the thing about. Uh, hmm. Uh, let me hold this one. Hey, thank you so much, man. Thank you so much for the host again. Really, really appreciate your support. Uh. right here so we need to head out through here switching to Watson again Watson it's your turn no Watson Hmm. Now Watson is gonna come out. Uh, What is this gonna trigger? Oh, for Watson to come out as well? Okay, so Watson is pretty much holding that. Okay. So Watson is out there, yeah. But for Sherlock to get out, I need that gate open. Watson, what are you doing here? Oh, okay, so, so this is the sh this is Sherlock's gate. Let me switch to Sherlock, since I definitely know for a reason that this is the gateway. Okay. mechanism seems inactive Most
Nice. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. so many clues the golden knife the mythical golden knife was lying under the excavation site it is a huge discovery but it does not belong to sir rodney according to he was about to make a remarkable discovery sir rodney's secret was an important discovery a metamorphical bomb he could use it as a powerful means of annihilating enemies uh, metaphorical bomb because you he could use it as a power Powerful means of annihilating anyone stood in his way that he alone might take the fame and glory. Blinkhorn is a deserving specialist who is aware that he is about to be cast aside over a major discovery. He would lose the chance of his lifetime. Blinkhorn with a silver knife. Let me... Salt and ice buckets were stored in the tunnels under the frigidarium. Really... I have, uh, before concluding something, I have so many more discoveries to make. Photographic, yeah, what's this thing about? Let's start with this piece right here. This would go here. This would go here. This this right. This would go here. This would go here. This would go here. This would go here. This would go This would go here. This would go here and this would go here. Done. Watson, could you please use this negative and your photographic equipment to process the photograph? Thank you, Watson. Now I must use reagents to develop the photograph. Okay. The Rodney Ice cream in the desert. We are indebted to the Romans who developed the technique. So how are these guys eating ice cream in the desert? Using salt? Okay, okay, now everything seems to be making sense. Ice cream in the desert? <laughs> we are indebted to the Romans <laughs> who developed the technique. Ice. Salt. Another archaeologist, most probably. Sir Rodney. Oh, this is Sir Rodney. Ice cream. Ice cream. The Pyramids of Giza, in Egypt. So that's it. Salt and crushed ice may help to create ice cream. No. Glass plate negative, a glass plate negative, so only eating ice cream in front of the pyramid. Oh, it reveals how to make ice cream by mixing salt and crushed ice. It was destroyed. A bottle of champagne in an ice bucket was found inside the chain we were donated. Yeah. Salt and ice buckets were stored inside the tunnels under the frigidarium. Someone was experimenting with the Roman. Yeah. Molded weapon. The mold was created to use the murder weapon. Check if an ice knife can be created with the materials found. Yeah. 
ice experiment. If I wish to shape the ice knife, then I need to pour water inside the mold. Water. Ice, salt, and then the mixing. It should be elementary. We need to reach minus 20 degrees Celsius to fully freeze the water inside the mold. Before beginning, I must remember that I have enough ice and salt for no more than four attempts. A minus negative 20. Ice, salt, and then the mixing. It should be elementary. Look, the temperature is reducing. A block of ice. He's attained at it's minus 20, mate. It's rising. We cannot be making it correctly. Let us try again and be precise with the timing. First, let's pour water. Before we... Home, look. Temperature is reducing. Makes sense. Excellent. Now we must check to ensure that it is adequately frozen. An ice weapon for a cold-blooded murder. An ice knife. A surprising and yet a very brilliant idea. It's the perfect weapon. It enables one to kill a man and then it melts. The only trace it leaves is a small puddle on the ground. Ice knife can be created. We can create an ice knife from the clues found at the crime scene. A bottle of champagne and an ice bucket was found inside the changing room. We don't yet know who brought it. The ice weapon was initially created and then preserved inside the champagne bucket. Yeah, that could be. That could be the thing. Blink on, really. Is there any other way? Blink on will save it. Save Rodney. Okay, it's either blink on or Garo. Garo, suffering was too great after Sir Rodney's grand discovery, Garo lived in the fear of Mithra's curse and so developed high ends. Feeling of paranoia. I don't think it's Garo though. It's, it's, it's blink on. Got to be blink on. 
method ice knife or Every other weapon is I mean every other thing is not so it's blink on ice knife oh silver weapon was used and then destroyed the ice weapon could be made but the champagne is just Sir Rodney brought in the champagne to celebrate something. So it's definitely must be the silver weapon. I really hope I am not wrong. Uh, he killed Sir Rodney to avenge an abuse of power. The, the death would be to his financial benefit and would allow him to emerge as Use the silver production of the golden knife Mithras. Blink on you of Ben Flick's intention to take all the credit for the discovery of the golden knife. He devised the cunning plan to eliminate Ben Flick and for this it is he, he devoted his life to discovering the golden knife and the credit was out to be stolen by Ben Flick. If he had been given the opportunity to claim ownership of this discovery, he would have not been killed. Ben Flick. I really hope I'm right. I really do. Mr. Holmes, what happened? This. <gasps> Is that the golden knife? How? I also like to dig, you see, Mr. Blinkhorn. One never knows what one might find. Occasionally, remarkable rarities, such as this. The thrill of the discovery, and one's own enhanced reputation. Wouldn't you agree? Well, are you suggesting that... I am not suggesting anything. I know. You found the knife. You are an intelligent man. The ghost knife shall remain one of the most ingenious constructions I have seen in my career, I do assure you. I don't understand. Yes, you do. I am praising your performance, your perfect murder. What? Wait, are, are you accusing me of murder? No, I deny it. Mr. Blinkhorn, it is no use to deny it. I know the truth. You had no choice, because it was you who found the golden knife, and therefore you had to be the murderer. Sir Rodney was determined to receive all the credit for the find, when in fact it was your work. He would have crushed you to be sure that you could never tell the truth. But I uphold the truth, and I will tell it. What do you mean? That you will save me? What I mean is that you deserve a second chance. I shall be following your career with the keenest interest, Mr. Blinkhorn. Farewell. Wrong. Replay ending. Oh, shoot. How was I wrong? How was I wrong? How was I wrong? Maybe, maybe the method.
Where's the where's the silver from then? Did someone carry in a silver thing? Silver watch. Mr. Holmes, what happened? This. I also like to dig, you see, Mr. Blinkhorn. One never knows what one might find. Occasionally, remarkable rarities, such as this. Well, are you suggesting that... I am not suggesting anything. I know. You found the knife. You are an intelligent man. The ghost knife shall remain one of the most ingenious constructions I have seen in my career, I do assure you. I don't understand. Yes, you do. What? Mr. Blink, because Sir Rodney was determined to... He would have... But I... What do you mean? What? Nice. Blink on with the eyes. Nice. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, really, really appreciate it, all of the lurks, really appreciate all of the uh, hosts and raid, thank you so much for the raid, Nick, again, really appreciate it, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow with the new case, yeah, maybe there's something about absolving. The game of the foot, not a word, into your clothes and come. I'll wait for you in the sitting room. I've just received a note from Inspector Lestrade, a letter from the suburbs. He is in need of my presence. Whenever he has asked for my assistance, it has always turned out to be entirely justified. I fancy that every one of his cases has found its way into your collection. Uh, yes, they all seem worthy. However, I regret your fatal habit of looking at everything from the point of view of a story instead of a scientific exercise. Oh, Holmes, you... I beg your pardon, I digress. It would be much better to examine this letter than to try to convince you. Okay, so what are you looking at, Sherlock? Using your telescope? I agree with you, Toby, that... The letter is on the table, Holmes. You should take a I agree with you, Toby, that Watson's shoe is preferable to Mrs. Hudson's cold cuts. Let's just read this letter. Mr. Holmes, today is the very first time that I have been allowed to write a single letter, and you are the first person whom I would wish to address. I repent all that I have done... But at the same time, I find myself grateful for your uncovering the truth. It has been, it has given me an enormous life lesson. Blink on regret. I also thank you for my conditional sentence. For soon, I may be able to live a fulfilling life once again and not be condemned by society. This is where I keep my post. The letter is on the table, Holmes. You should take a look. Nice. A wax seal with the monogram E.B. I can tell from Lestrade's handwriting that he was in a hurry when he wrote this letter. The Brackenstall family coat of arms. Brackenstall family. Abby Grange. My dear Mr. Holmes, I should be very glad of your immediate assistance in what promises to be the a most remarkable case. It's something quite in your line, except for releasing the lady. I will see that everything is kept exactly as I have found it. But I beg you not to lose an instant, as it is difficult to leave Sir Eustace there. The faithful Inspector Lestrade. So, what is it, Holmes? Promising, as always, it appears to be a case of murder. So you believe that Sir Eustace is dead? I should say so. Lestrade wouldn't have sent for me for less. His writing shows considerable agitation, and he is not an emotional man. These people belong to high society, 
The quality of the writing paper, the EB monogram, their coat of arms. The crime was committed before midnight. Holmes, how can you possibly tell? Well, it is all thanks to Lestrade. He wrote his letter at 3.30 in the morning. Imagine the chain of events before that. The local police had to be called in. Scotland Yard was notified. Lestrade himself had to make haste there and finally compose <laughs> the letter he sent to me. Ah, oh, shut up. makes for a fair night's work. It makes sense. Lestrade also speaks of the woman he released. That seems to indicate that she had been held somewhere during the crime. Much time has been wasted. Let us find a cab and go to Abbey Grange immediately. I live in hope of an interesting morning. Nice. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. And with this particular peculiar yet interesting case, I'll return to you guys tomorrow. Until then, stay awesome, stay safe, stay healthy, drink enough water, and keep smiling. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a nice day.